Hello everyone, welcome back to Mama's Treasures. Rebecca and Jason here with you today. Hello. We thought it would be fun to film going through this trunk. This is one of the trunks that we found in the estate home. This one was found in the attic, right? Yep, this one was in the attic, right? In the second room upstairs. And you had opened it up, which to, to let it air out. And actually when we were fixing the roof, some of the uh, dust and stuff fell into this trunk. So we had to redust everything off. Oh yes, I was letting it air out because it was rather stinky, mothball-y smelling. Although there wasn't any mothballs in this trunk, but uh, yeah, it had just been shut for a long time. So it was kind of stinky. I was letting it air out. Yeah, like the jacket there, you laid out and letting it air out a bit. Yeah. So the bottom of the trunk had clothes in it and that's what we are going through today. The like end, this one has tails on it. It looks like something you'd wear a top hat with. Yeah, they're pretty cool anyway. The end of the video, we will go through the contents of the top of the trunk, but this portion we didn't have any sound with. Jason's just going through all the clothes. There was lots of coats in this trunk heavy coats very heavy coats um some were used quite obviously for working and buttons added like we just showed on the video there it's different buttons added to the coats and mended yeah dirty a lot of these items were just thrown away after we admired them we actually had, oh, here's one of the fur coats. Or is this just a fur lined coat? Fur lined coat, this one we kept. Yes, this is one of them that we did keep. Uh, we actually had a vintage clothing a store owner in the garage going through the vintage clothes that we've pulled out of the estate home. And she was telling us that a lot of the items were actually antique, not vintage. She did snag a few of the items, but uh, it was really helpful to ha just have her there to ask her questions about some of the stuff. And these these are overalls, right? Yeah, I think these ones were overalls. There was also some, yeah, these were overalls. There was some um, underwear or undergarments, I guess you'd wear. Yeah, like long johns, like oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, some of them you could tell were obviously very worn and patched and then you'd pull out another pair and it seemed like they maybe saved those for Sunday because they were they were in much better condition I think some of these pairs of long johns we did actually keep that one I think was all right yeah and I've laundered them and they turned out okay They wouldn't be very comfortable. No, nope, but it kept you warm. I can't quite read the labels on them. Yeah. Maybe more so for sleepwear as well. I don't know if you'd really want to be wearing these under your work clothes. They're heavy too. It was just interesting going through and, you know, imagining them when they would have been wearing them and what year they were made, what store they bought them at, things like that. There is some homemade items in here too. Uh, <laughs> like that one. Speaking of, yes. I don't know if this was a brassiere or I it was think actually it might be a, a swimming suit. A top. swimsuit yeah, top. A swimsuit top. Yeah. She fashioned together her own bikini From top there. Bra straps. Yeah. <laughs> this, oh yeah, this was, uh, I think this is what you call a muff to keep your hands warm instead of wearing gloves. It is fur. This one was store-bought, you could tell. There, I'm... Yes, you're modeling <laughs> it. I did hang on to the muff, even though it was dirty. This purse, although really cool, I did end up tossing. The top piece was missing the clasp, but it has a center uh, change purse which is kind of cool yeah
I think the chain was missing off. It would of be chain. annoying though to have it in the middle. You to get the stuff underneath, you'd have to reach around all the time. Yeah, you'd never lose your change purse though. No. It always be handy. No credit card slots in that one. Here, this was a Mr. Bean skirt. <laughs> you know which Mr. Bean episode we're talking about? You can put it in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, uh, I think that was a homemade skirt. What are we grabbing out here now? Oh, this is a fur coat. It's black fur and... It's very soft. And they, it is. The lady that we had overlooking at the clothing thought it might be beaver. Yeah. Um, surprisingly enough to me, I thought beaver fur would feel kind of coarse. But she said usually the water mammals have very shiny, soft fur. So she thought this was beaver. And it is so incredibly soft. This coat. It's worn around the buttons. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this one we did hang on to. But I believe that this one would have been store-bought as well. Just the way the lining was made and that tie that you're holding there. I think that you tie it around your waist. And, and there's then... There's an interesting little uh, pocket on the side. Yeah, side pocket. It's like in the lining, but... Oh, is that his tag? Store tag? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah, so this one, that one would not have been homemade. That would have been a probably a quite pricey coat in its time, and it's long. Three-quarter length coat, I would imagine. This one is very sun-faded, but I think it was a navy coat. I think it's men's not sure I think this one was tossed away that's yeah, really faded yeah must have been hanging in a window yeah more coats this one we kept I think yeah I can't remember we've uh, it's been a few weeks since we filmed this and this is uh, our garage was very, very full at this point. It has since uh, emptied out. Quite a few pieces of furniture are gone or moved around. As you know, our back garage is constantly changing, <laughs> but we've got lots of stuff to get rid of. This was the vest is probably the nicest part of this suit. This suit yeah. was in a rough, rough shape. It looked like it used it for mechanical work or something. It was very dirty. Yeah. Back in the day, you didn't just throw on sweatpants to go to work. Well, maybe he was driving somewhere with his suit and had car trouble. And I don't know. <laughs> they had to look greasy and oily. And, but they kept it for whatever reason. It's spent many years in, in the uh, trunk. Yeah. Can't quite make out the brand of that one. It's like a pinstripe. It was like a navy pinstripe. Where's and the pants? here's the pants. Oh, they're dirty. Very dirty. Oh, didn't you reach into the pockets here? Every pair of pants had nails on the one side and some matches, and the other side had no nails on the one side, matches and string in the other pocket. So he must have worn them for work probably fence repair on the farm or something oh a stubby pencil oh and a pencil right <laughs> what's that a match? match string oh yeah so that. much string Like he had a system. He knew which pocket to reach in to get what. But what did he have to tie every day? I don't know. That's what, like bales maybe? I mean, I can see the match if you have a cigarette. 
but nails and string. So I that's I keep thinking fence repair, something on the farm. I, I don't know. I am not a farmer. This one was in rough shape too. Yeah. They would have been really beautiful garments in their time. It was just really fun to go through. There's a long underwear. Oh yeah. Yes, wool. Very heavy. And another pair of, oh, the, uh, this is a, like a sweatshirt. Probably nighttime wear is what I'm thinking. Here's some of these light blue pants with the elastic uh, around the legs. Yeah, I'm thinking these probably were ladies pants, work pants. Again, holes and worn through. Not really worth saving. No, nope, they got tossed. I think maybe two or three items out of this whole thing we saved. A long undershirt or a yeah, ladies nighty? This is maybe? a ladies nighty. Really stretchy material. One of them, again, one of them was really patched up. And then the next one was in really beautiful condition, actually. I hung on to this one and washed it up. If you know anybody what wants a box full of Reader's Digest, they are sitting behind the trunk. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we box have full. so many books. This was a really pretty sweater. Uh, unfortunately, dirty. it was very dirty and it it's got tossed. Stained dirty, not just not washable. Right. This was another homemade skirt, I believe pin striping on that one as well. She's a little lady. Very small waist. What's this piece? Another skirt. Is that another skirt? Oh yeah, yeah, that's another. I think that one was homemade too. I don't believe there was a tag in that one. And scraps. Oh no, was this a color? Yeah, this, this was is a, a color. color. Don't exactly know how you would use them. That's Ooh. a hanky? Hanky or a rag. So we're coming to the end of it here. At the bottom of the trunk there was a rolled up piece of paper. And uh, I believe there was patterns in here. And... Oh, this is Christmas wrapping. In the Christmas wrapping was old, old uh, dress patterns and such. Yeah. So the last portion of the video is us going through the top of the trunk. And we did actually talk as we were filming through that. So for now, we're going to thank you all for coming by and watching our little tickle trunk video seeing what was in the antique steam trunk in the attic of the estate home thank you all so much for subscribing and for all your comments and thumbs up we really appreciate it and uh, we'll talk to you in our next video bye for now everybody Hope you enjoyed that footage of finding out what was in the bottom of this trunk. But we've got the top to go through now, so we thought we would turn the camera back on and videotape going through that. Now this looks like some sort of a doily. A lot of 
70s, 60s. Time went into that. Here is another art. piece of crochet, maybe from a table runner. A bag of powder. Mystery powder. Okay. I have no idea. I think we will Why would you that. pack that in your... <laughs> I have no idea. In your hope chest? Double size reprints. There's actually... Oh. Can you pick it up? There's like a family photo. Yeah. Hmm. Another family photo. Right. And yet another. Hmm. It's like the same time because they're all wearing the same checkered shirts. What's this? Another mystery bag. Another mystery bag, and it's got some weight to it again. Oof, what's that? Um, more. Gray, powdery. More powder. Is this dye? I don't know. It wouldn't be like flammable powder, right? Eh? I don't know. Dye for... Hmm. I wonder what these powders are. I mean, you'd have to bring it to someone to have it tested. Yeah. Wouldn't like to know, actually. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the other ones having paper for patterns? And this is probably what, what yeah, this is again, that hey? Yeah, kind of those brown paper bags would have been handy for that. Look at this. Mmm. An old flute from Japan. Neat. What does it say on it? Japan. I'd blow on it, but it's actually bamboo that they've... That's, hmm, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. And here's some uh, um, stitching. Oh, yeah, maybe she used one of these to make the doily. Oh, these are all... Stitching books? Stitching books. And knitting and, and really crochet. rough shape, but these must be quite old. This trunk I'm thinking is late 18 or early 1900s trunk. It's actually a wooden top. It's not, uh, our newer one has cardboard. Allied hardware stores. That's, that's really well, nice. Well, this is too. for a color. Oh. Kennedy Sanford Shrunk Soft Collar. 15 and a half inch. Hmm. I should maybe put that with the clothes. Yep. Yeah. Ribbon. And yet another match. Yeah, we found so many <laughs> matches everywhere. Top of a hanger. Here you have the Defender Feminine Syringe. Mm. Rexall. <laughs> Directions for using. Defender Feminine Syringe. Compress ball, place nozzle in fluid, and allow ball to expand to full size. Hold nozzle up, upright, and press ball slightly until fluid appears at tip. Expel a few drops of fluid to exclude all air. User is warned against the use of undue pressure on the ball. Moderate pressure is sufficient for cleansing. We, we have. Isn't that not... Yes. What, that's what I thought was a breast pump. You know, well, this might be a breast pump and that. That's probably the original syringe tool. Oh. Thing. I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> but maybe collectible to somebody. But this hmm. is probably still a breast pump. It might be. Just older than the other one. Like you Designed do. to promote personal cleanliness. Can't even press this thing. Wow. You have to have some 
<laughs> Tough woman to. <laughs> it was probably more pliable at one time. Okay. Oh, Ooh, classic change. You remember purse. those? Ooh, that's probably not very pliable anymore either. No, it's gonna squeeze pretty hard. <laughs> An old camera. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a lot of value in old cameras, but it says number two, Buster Brown. I'll have to look that up. Got your. So many of these old things just look cool on a shelf. Yeah, that's true enough. Hmm. It all works. Wow, that's pretty cool. There, that's half done. Half done. All right. You want to flip it? Sure. This trunk is actually really nice. It's it's really old, like, but the um, well, it has snaps. The one we actually have snaps on here. The one side's broken off, but it had mm. must have had a cover. But the trunk is damaged. Like, yeah. The top is split open, but it's a really cool. It's look flat. To it. It's black. Some people use these for uh, coffee tables. Uh, I'm not sure if you would. But... And then the the barrel top ones obviously don't work for a, a coffee table, but the flat ones do. I'd love to know a year. Yeah. Or where it's all been. Old Universal. Oh, another, yeah. another one. Oh, it's not missing. much left in there. Not much left. Or protractor? Uh, I think so. Does it say a year on it? Made in England. No, there's no year on there. When I was a kid, I always remember the Buffalo brand geometry sets. Is that a napkin? It is a wedding napkin and it is gross. Oh. Well, maybe not used, but I would hope not. You can't read it anymore, but it's actually a wedding napkin. Hmm. I don't think you want to keep that. And then just... Rolls. Paper. Roll the paper. I don't think there's anything on here. I don't believe. No, I don't see anything. I will just put that over there. And... Oh, you, that's, yeah, they would have stapled it, yeah. someone would have worn that. Cute. So maybe school memories, that's probably what Probably some of Valentine's this stuff Day is. or birthday or something. A broken hmm. candle holder or something. Oh, look, more flowers. Aha, uh -huh. more chocolate. Iris. Aww. Iris, yeah. <laughs> more chocolate. Is this chocolate too? Oh, yes, it is. That's a nice one. What does it say? It's L A. Not mm. sure. That's actually really nice. Oh boy, what's pencil? Not as stubby as most of them we found. Novocaine. What is that? I've heard the name Novocaine, but I don't know what it is. Isn't that a painkiller? And Ponto cane. Hmm. No, it's Novocaine. It's the same. It's just a different way. It's maybe different. Is that a really old style syringe? It's got a letter. Can you read it? That it's got a word. Yes. What? What? Mm. What is this? Gillette. Is that actually a blade container? Oh, maybe. We just barely sold all yeah, of our stuff on eBay. Did. All of our shaving stuff in one batch. We'll put our eBay down below. Okay, I don't, this is all, it's blue in here. Do you know what, oh, there's nails in there. What is this blue stuff? Little, are they, they seem to be hard, right? They're like ink. See, I, I wonder what they, this must be a, a blade holder. That's cool. I didn't. It says it right on the top there. It says Gillette. Hmm. I know this was a Ukrainian household, so I don't know if 
for Easter eggs? Maybe someone can leave it in the comments. Yeah. Another glass? Another glass with the cork. This Universal Developer Powders, Eastman. Gives you some instructions on there. Canadian Kodak. Really? Oh, for a camera? Something for a camera? Developer powders. Oh, look, there's a bag of pink powder. Now oh, there's a bag of pink powder. So what are all these powders? We got white powder. You know, they did powder. lots of chalkware. Maybe they mix their own paint. Think that's what it is? I <laughs> I don't know. A broken watch strap. band. And a whole bunch of scraps. Scraps. Fabric. I wonder what that newspaper is under there. You have to wait. Maraschino cherries. Oh, gross. Ew, that's like... Is that a pad thing? That That's what they put at the bottom of ground beef, isn't it? Absorbent pad? Why would you put that in here? Or is that an old style feminine pad? Why would you put that in here? <laughs> gross. <laughs> That's Iris's uh, prescription hmm. card. Okay. I don't even want that here. Yeah, no that. kidding. Yuck. And a box of cherries. Mm-hmm. The cure. Maraschino cherries. Okay. Pencil. And I guess these are caps for old pencils. I've seen them before. Hmm. Oh, another really cheap plastic made in Hong Kong change purse and a doily pretty doily uh, paper um, homemade flour because this is not is that wax or Copper wire, homemade. Hmm, okay. Crafting. Yes. Oh, another doily. Or a... A... A handbag? Oh, this is... What is this thing? Or is it a planter? Like a basket thing. Oh, that's pretty. It's gonna, like, hold something. You could... Use it to put your vase in there and go out and cut flowers. Maybe that's what it's for. Another lovely distributor cap, which... <laughs> I thought it, they were pen You thought holders. they were pen holders. That's what they were using them for. That's what you could use them for, yeah. Yeah. What is this? Let's see, cards. Plastic coated playing cards. Oh. It's like that old game, Little little Maid. Old Maid? Old Maid. Oh, that's not what's in here at all. Oh, there's a perfume box. Oh, there One is a card. card. Is it a secret message? Just the Joker. Oh no, there's another one. Another Joker? And, and then just the bottom of the box. Ford, what does it say? Ford. Ford 1907. Hmm. That's a cool box. It is. But only two cards left out of there, and you've got some old lady's perfume. Or, I mean, not old lady, but <laughs> you have some lady's perfume. Yeah, box. Sorry. What kind of perfume was it? New York, Paris perfume. Hmm. Okay. Very. It's Cody. Nice box. Um, and then there was a brush and an eraser in there. A really little brush. And an old, old eraser. And this was in there. A piece of metal. Here we have another container. 
of her medication, maybe. From 1960. Hmm. And a Christmas card. Oh, that's cute. From somebody. And we have sensitized paper, Kodak paper. So they must have used, developed their own somehow. Like we've got all kinds of stuff in here. Huh. It's part of an old envelope. Something, some kind of writing on there. And a paper. Cool buttons. And there's more of these beady things. This is Ukrainian paper. Can't read it. Hmm. It's a peacock pillow. Advertisements for face cream. I don't see a date anywhere, do you? An operation may not be necessary. No, I don't see a date. So that's it. That's it. There's some neat finds in there. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll leave our Instagram and our eBay store linked down below. And we'll talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.